it's gonna happen. You gonna get flip kicked and you gonna go to that blast zone just like it's, a, it's your express ticket to Dome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but Kiwi's looking like a killer today, so. We all see. She looks like she is ready. She has her mind in already. A pretty good start for her. Beautiful Nair out of shield as well. She is boxing with one of the best right now. Another one, Nair out of shield. She just knows. She's like, is this safe? Doesn't look like it is. I'm gonna throw Nair out of shield and check him. Check him. Well, I'm, you know what? You're looking like you're throwing out some aerials trying to put some pressure on me. I'm not faced. Look at this, she hasn't even bothered trying to set up shop. She knows that just because of the sheer speed of Mars, that she's gonna have a little bit of work cut out for himself. But you saw Mars right there immediately went for the crouch the moment uh, the Hydrant got hit and just it just went right over his head. Over his head. He knows. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh he almost got, ooh, what's going on? Ooh. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> we take it though. She just wants to get a, a second, you know, a breather. She wants to there garner some fruit, but Man, it looks like Mars is just here to pick the tree before the fruit is even ripe. He's like, no, 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 no. You don't have the time to be searching through your leisure in your little alphabet book of fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. We, we here to throw hands and that's it. I'm going to let you have all the time in the world. I'm trying to keep it nice and simple. And I will say, it. you know, Kiwi really hasn't had much of a chance uh, to extend anything once she's been able to get a hit. She's been able to get like a, a jab combo here, a neutral out of shield there, but she hasn't really been able to find one big opening where she's been able to kind of force Mars off stage and really force him to a disadvantageous position. She's pretty much only been able to nickel and dime here and then resets to neutral, and that's not helping her out because every time Mars gets his hit, believe me, he's, he's making converted. it count. Oh, he's making it hurt. Oh, he's making it hurt all the way through, man. But right now, she's playing really well defensively. Covering her options very well. Oh, that, whew. There we go, we okay, got the bell. Okay, we go, we got the bell. What's the setup, what you got? Oh, I thought, oh, there it is, the grab. It was delayed, though. I thought she was gonna do it immediately, uh, but she was probably waiting to see if there was gonna be a spot dodge. There wasn't one that oh, she Oh, the decided. key, oh, that was beautiful. Oh, Why are you famous. hanging out near my hydrant, bro? Don't touch that. Throwing the Yaves oh. immediately. You know, Mars fighting back, a full stock lead above Kiwi. Kiwi now, you know, gonna go ahead and throw the Galaxia, try to get more, can't really convert uh, much off of that. And throwing out a grab as well, looking to get punished 11% for whiffing a grab, and Mars still racking up more and counting, has her in the corner. She doesn't feel like she can move, it's claustrophobic in here. Let me breathe. Oh, you read the roll, but you didn't get the punish out in time. Oh, there it is, okay. Ooh, this is looking a little rough. Ooh, Cherry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, what was that? Oh. I think she was trying to throw it onto the stage, but it bounced off the corner there. There we go, trampoline, out of shield. Very strong out of shield option that Pac-Man does have in all, as an alternative to... Whoa, what, what a scoop! That? What a scoop! What a scoop! Oh, he's trying to whip him. Oh, that's it, you're free. Oh, no, okay. No. Ooh, that was some slick movement. Just Mars all over her, man. Just all over the place right now. Just the movement's just too crisp. There it is. That was a pretty rough way to go out. Gets caught by the Paralyzer down smash uh, by the ledge. Into a forward smash conversion from Mars. Mars uh, looking like he is very comfortable fighting against Kiwi. Kiwi, uh, you can see it in her face. She's thinking. She's very much so in the zone, in the game, trying to figure out what she can do better here uh, mm, to sure. you know, bring this at least a little bit closer, if not secure some games and maybe even win out the set. But she, she's really struggling to make it feel as if Mars needs to respect her offense, right? It feels like she's in shield a lot. a lot. It feels like she's trying to gain space and Mars is just not giving it to her. Now granted, when they are in those close quarter combats, that CQC, uh, she's able to kind of box pretty well with him, I'd say. She's able to narrow out of shield, she's able to jab him. She's doing a good job of keeping him in check so he doesn't completely run away with it, but it's still not enough. It's overwhelming. Mars has always been known for that on your face with these boots and just mm -hmm. in your eye. This is it's just too much, man. He's just overbearing. He won't let you breathe. And now, should he? One <laughs> thing I do like is that she did decide to go to the hazardless smash though. And now granted, I think this is a good option mainly because of the fact of how hard it can feel to regain uh, center stage once you're put into disadvantage. Now granted, uh, for Kiwi, this could be a double-edged sword, but once Pac-Man's able to set up shop like we're seeing here, it's up to Mars to kind of force his way through the middle. Right. And this is where Pac-Man can really shine. You put down the hydrant, set up the wall in front of you, forces Mars to approach from the platform, which makes him feel a little bit uncomfortable, and then she's able to get that fruit and really set up shop. Very good awareness of stage choice. I actually think this is a very good stage choice in my opinion. Like, I don't know. Uh, if anything, Mars is adjusting really well to this, though. But there's, it's still kind of even. I don't know. 
Yeah, I mean, just looks already starting off to be much closer than the first game. But we're going to see if Kiwi's able to get the first KO. That's something I'm looking for, because that'll show uh, just how confident Kiwi is at being able to find her kill confirmed. We saw her get a kill uh, with the key last time, and maybe she got a, a bell kill. I, I don't quite remember how she got the second kill that match. Um, if she even, I think she got two stocks, right? So she didn't even find that other KO. Um, but like but this said, time. But like you said earlier, you know, she was able to set a hydrant in the middle. Mars did not know how to come in comfortably, and he got, got killed for it. She uh, set up shop, got rid of the hydrant, tried to make a new one. Exactly, man. We said, oh, out here, we don't pump our own gas, man. We Just facts. But there we go. Uh, the Plasma Whip coming out Ooh. from Mars. Once again. He likes to go deep off stage like that. CSS has so many tools, so many affordances at her disposal to really go for more, but doesn't even need to do all that because he manages to find that conversion into the up smash Mars now tying up the game but I'm liking the gameplay adjustments I'm seeing from Kiwi already she's doing a better job and she's picking when she's going in a lot better she's mixing up the timing Mars doesn't know it's not obvious to him anymore when she's trying to attack and when she's trying to retreat finally landing one of the grabs I mean she's been throwing them out there she missed a few of them already but um that one grab was actually on the mark oh and now she's getting something going for herself oh Okay, here we go. And here's another thing that we see from Kiwi a lot, right? Yeah. Pac-Man, when he lands like a forward air, or even if you shield the forward air, he has a few options. He can opt to kind of double jump and, and go for something else, or he can decide to go for a second landing aerial, kind of similar to that of Luigi. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the <laughs> the slip and slide. The slip and slide? Oh my gosh, man. The what? Ooh, Water Country have some fun, man. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We good, though. We good. Uh, yeah, she's making it back. She's making it back. That's fine. I like this. Can she get the second KO before Mars is able to fight back? You can see she needs to work her way to center stage now, but she's having a good time. Set up that hydrant. Gives her some time to set up the fruit. She's going to push that hydrant. Oh, God. Oh, almost. she ate Oh, that was almost a really... Yeah. Props My to heart. her, though, for knowing. <laughs> But no, it was hard for me as an observer to even know whose Hydra that was going to be. Was Mars going to be the one to knock it or was it going to be her? And she was just like, you know, I'm going to match the air dodge button. I'm not letting this happen to me. But Mars is still pulling away here. And that's crazy because he has more percent. Nice. Mars trying to go for the ledge trump there. Didn't quite get it, though. Our Kiwi still looking for that. 165 on Mars. Oh, no. Another oh, that my God. going to cost you. You know, Can't you, keep it from those grabs. You have to live or die by the grab. But I promise you, Kiwi does not regret it. It's just... Part of the resume, man, is part of the job description, rather. Once you decide to play Pac-Man, you know what you're getting yourself in for, and that's just one of those things that happens. Sometimes you guess wrong. Yes, sir. Actually, I do like the fact that um, Mars made use of the crawl there. And, oh, woo, we all, woo. Yeah, I know. We've seen that air flip kick so many times. No matter which game it is, Mars always doing the match. What, what kind of setup, setup was that? that was, what kind of setup was that, man? No, she, she just knew. I, I'm going to give her that one. <laughs> that, that was OD. <laughs> that was crazy, man. You know, that's, that's the stuff I like. You know what I mean? It's... It's, it's tricky like that. I'm sure Mars, I mean, clearly I uh, wasn't expecting that. And now, oh, Kiwi, she had a little bit of momentum going there. You can see she even read the spot dodge, but didn't have the spacing on the forward smash. You know, might be able to fight back here. 94% on her. She's going to lose the stock here. Yeah, and that's going to be it. A 2-0 so far for Mars. Kiwi with one more chance to Much put one on game. the board. Much better game than the first one. I think she's understanding the speed and the level that Mars is playing at, and it's playing accordingly. Um, those with grabs are what's killing her the most, I feel like, right now. Uh, if she can, like, I don't know. She has to go for, like, the better situation, right? Those grabs are just way too vulnerable, way too long with the end lag. It's, that's the thing, know. right? Like, it's it's a double-edged sword. You know what you can get off it. You get superior positioning, and especially past certain percents, it can even lead to a KO. But, you know, at the same time, if it misses, well, as you saw, you can lead to your death. Now, granted, I am happy that she came back to Smashville because I think that stage definitely was working, uh, out, working for... out, right? Yeah, like, it really looked like she was getting something started um, and just... The forcing Mars to be on this platform like he is right there, where he has to kind of jump and work around Look it. Look at this. Nice punish. And there's a rewarded grab. Couldn't get anything out of it, though. It's really helping her out. Now, granted, I think the one thing she needs to be careful Ooh. of is she has to mix up whether she's going to go for a nair out of shield or maybe a delayed option, because now we're seeing Mars shield that nair out of shield and punish her for it. Ooh. Oh. No that way. Was, what? Was You're wild. wild. That was wild. You're wild. She tried it, yo. <laughs> I'm surprised he knew. Yeah, he was just like, oh, you're doing that? Okay. Oh, my God. And Mars getting a little bit of a Galaxia confirmed himself, racking up all this damage. Kiwi trying to get out of disadvantage here, but Mars is oppressive, oh and he gets gosh. the boost from the Hydrant to this extend himself for that 4-2. Oh, my gosh. The awareness of how to use these items is just so good. 
And that's the, that's the worst thing, man. When you play against a, a player like Mars or let's say like Maddie G or something, someone who's very comfortable uh, playing around items, sometimes can feel like what's supposed to be your advantage becomes theirs. Right. They start using your own weapons against you. All right, let's see. Mars, once again, feigning deep. Trying to set up the two frame. Kiwi mixing up her timing to grab the ledge. Gonna go ahead and escape that scenario. Picks up the Galaxia, switches it up for the bell. And that is one thing she's gonna have to look out for here. On this stage, it will land on that platform when she tries to throw the default. So she's gonna have to need to look for out, out for that as well. She's putting on a decent amount of pressure, but she still needs to find this kill. I don't know what the setup's gonna be for that. I like that. Fight your way back. Oh, trading the grabs there. Oh, but that back here gonna sneak in and just clap it right before she finishes throwing out that hydro. And this is coming down to it, man. You know, Mars are probably gonna lose this first stock here, but Kiwi has a lot of room to make up for it. And the thing is, I feel like Pac-Man, uh, generally, one of those characters that, you know, can make comebacks, but it's a long, grueling process. It takes a lot of mental energy and a lot of immaculate play to avoid getting hit. You know, generally, he's a character that plays very well with the lead. You know, oh, I have to hunt him down, but in scenarios like this, it's a lot harder to come back from. Oh, man, just grab here. Ooh, the parry. Okay. Oh, yes, that was beautiful use of the bell. Getting the stun and now the forward smash just to clear out that stock. Still behind another whole stock. Yeah, just a little bit too late, but I like this clean 28% coming out from Kiwi, but I mean, she really has to figure something out here. It's coming down to the wire. It needs to make a crazy play. Galaxy a very big, play. A very big read. Or this Mars needs to SD, but you know, or, it's like... You know, just, you know, I don't have a jump here. Oh, I didn't know. You know, whatever <laughs> it takes, man. Whatever it takes. You know, Avenger, man. <laughs> whatever it takes. Oh, he went so deep. Oh, just, man. Look so, how many different hitboxes he's just throwing out off stage. And Kiwi has to have the presence of mind to go ahead and avoid all of it, right? She can't be caught sleeping at the wheel for a moment. Very nice. Oh, gets grabbed. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. I love it, though. It's just it's, it's like he's teleporting almost. Nice. Oh, no punish on the whip grab, but she's going to whip a grab of her own, thinking she had enough time, but the deceptive... Uh, I guess she just didn't realize that she had a little less time than, than she thought. Uh, just didn't do that grab immediately, got punched for. Is going to end up going down 3-0 to Mars. So that was a fun set. I was very happy to see it. I wanted to see how Kiwi would fare against one of New England's finest. I mean, she's one of New England's finest as well, but you know, did have some uh, struggles a bit with the character. And you know, I imagine that uh, a character as fast as ZSS and who's able uh, to have like kind of multiple jumps in yes. the flip kick, uh, able to maneuver very well around the projectiles of Pac-Man. So.